Hello everyone, this is day seven and of Emitative Science and today I'm going to talk about static electricity. And static electricity is what the name says, it's electricity that kind of sits in one spot waiting for something to happen. The electricity that we have in the house is current electricity or alternating electricity, which means that it's constantly in motion. But static electricity just sits there waiting for an opportunity to jump into motion. And this is where you get the shocks. <laughs> so one a great experiment to do with the kids is, of course, rubbing the balloon on your hair. I have wild hair, so it's perfect to create static electricity. When you're rubbing, you're actually attracting all the negative charge of the balloon into where the friction is. And so it attracts the hair to it because now my hair has all the positive part of my head is attracted to the negative part of the balloon. And another great experiment to do with children is if you break off the sulfur part of a matchstick, um, tie it to a string, tape it to the bottom of a glass here, and when you're rubbing the balloon, you're creating that negative charge. And when you bring it close to the matchstick, you're going to attract the positive charge of the matchstick, and you can actually make it spin. So this is a fun experiment to do with the kids, keep you busy, well, keep them busy for a while, give you a break. I hope this helps. We'll see you tomorrow.